Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, Nigel Farage's former aide, George Cottrell, will appear in court in Arizona in three hours' time on suspicion of money laundering. He's been charged with conspiracy to launder drugs money and faces years in prison if found guilty. UKIP say he was not employed by the party and was just an enthusiastic volunteer. But who is Mr Cottrell and just how close to the former UKIP leader was he? Our political correspondent, Michael Crick, has been looking at the story. Is it busy in there, George, do you know? It's not busy. The area, yes. yeah. Meet George Swinfen Cottrell, just 23. Time and again during the referendum contest, he was Nigel Farage's right-hand man, passing him the mic, telling him what next. Centre stage in UK politics just two months ago, Cottrell's now in a US jail awaiting trial facing perhaps many years behind bars. After high life with Farage at the Republican convention in Cleveland last month, Cottrell was arrested. The end of a long FBI sting operation stretching back to Las Vegas more than two years ago, when undercover agents posing as drug dealers first met the young Britain. The FBI had allegedly noticed on the so-called dark web Cottrell advertising money laundering consultations, according to American court documents. He's now accused on 21 counts of conspiracy to commit money laundering, money laundering itself, wire fraud and even blackmail against the undercover FBI men who mounted the sting. In last year's general election, George Cottrell spent many, many days here in South Essex carrying out ordinary mundane campaign duties, pounding the streets, going door to door, canvassing and leafleting in the Thurrock constituency and also in another of UKIP's target seats here in Castle Point. He was very much someone who looked like, you know, he'd, you know, he'd come out of Savile Row rather than walked out of Burton's window. Um, he was, uh, you know, always elegantly dressed, uh, smart, um, and, you know, very uh, well-spoken. And it was quite unusual uh, because, you know, we're not used to seeing aristocracy down this part of South Essex. He was mentioning the fact that his mum had, uh, had gone out with uh, Prince Charles, uh, that he was related to uh, Lord Hesketh. Um, but, uh, and of course, it was a huge, huge shock, uh, you know, when, when we heard this news. I mean, it's bad enough getting your collar felt by the local Bobby, let alone the FBI. U.S. court papers suggest Cottrell used aliases and recently changed his name to distance his previous involvement in certain political activities in the United Kingdom. The Illinois judge said this was evidence of conduct suggestive of deception and said Cottrell poses a serious risk of flight. Several UKIP sources have told us Cottrell worked for free and always paid his own way. Though strangely, they insist he never gave the party any money, even though he appeared wealthy. More intriguing still, the Illinois judge accepted George Cottrell's claims he was unable to afford counsel. So now he's been granted a lawyer at public expense. The man who shared Nigel Farage's huge moment of triumph was today moved to Arizona to appear in court in three hours' time. Michael Crick, well, on another UKIP story, last night we reported that police were investigating allegations of expenses fraud against Nathan Gill, MEP. The leader of UKIP in Wales, Mr Gill, has said today that the claims are entirely bogus and are part of a campaign to harry him out of position. North Wales police today handed over the investigation to the European Anti-Fraud Office. I've been getting away with it all.